Hello everybody. I'm here with some more tips and tricks for you. I've got some just regular old freezer bags now. You got to use freezer bags. And I got this big package of chicken. So this is boneless, skinless chicken breast with rib meat. But I don't cook that much chicken at one time. You know, I cook for myself. And a lot of people ask me, well, you know, it's so hard to cook for one person. Well, this is what I do. I, if I have a big package of chicken like this, I don't cook it all at one time. I separate it just like I do my ground beef or any other meat, and I put it in smaller packages and put it in the freezer. In this case, I'm just gonna take, uh, what I think I'm gonna cook at one time and put it in a smaller bag. Now these are pretty healthy, uh, chicken breasts right here. So, you know, I could only, I would just fix one of these if I was going to cook it for myself for a meal. So, I'm going to stick one chicken breast in each bag. I will leave out one to cook for dinner tonight, though. I mean, that's a pretty heavy uh, monster of a chicken breast right there. <laughs> and you notice I'm not sealing my bag up quite yet because I do have chicken on my hand and I don't want to get any more of that juice on this chicken than I have to. I'm going to fix stir frying for my dinner tonight. But it's only going to take one of these chicken breasts to do that. So I'm putting the rest of them in bags. That gives me four and then five here that I'm going to cook tonight. And I'm simply just going to take this one out, put it in this container, put it in my refrigerator so I can cook that tonight for dinner. Come over here, and this is a great way to um, cut down on uh, bacteria in your kitchen. I do not wash chicken when it's packaged like this. And I definitely do not wash it when I'm dividing it up to put in packages. Because chicken has different... Uh, molecules and stuff to it that can contaminate your kitchen really fast. And you notice I am washing my hands off. I don't want to get any more of that chicken um, moisture on any of this bag that I don't have to do that. And I'm just going to kind of mash out some of the Now, if you have a vacuum sealer, and if you plan on keeping it stored for a while, you can go ahead and uh, vacuum seal it. I'm probably not going to keep it stored that long. And I don't want to use a vacuum sealer just to, for one piece of chicken. So that's my reasoning behind this. <laughs> I 
and you can get a lot of the air out of it just working with the bag. I mean, there's some things that I would use, definitely would use my vacuum sealer for. But just to show you how you can fix it like this, then I'm going to, you know, do it this way. I just kind of roll it around, get the air out of it. And see, most, you know, just about every bit of the air is out of that bag. Now, I've got a bigger bag. And I'm just going to write on the outside boneless chicken or chicken breast. And I may even put the date. What is today's date? <laughs> um... The 13th. That way I don't have to mark each one of these. Now I'm just simply going to put my chicken breast in this bigger bag. That basically gives them double protection. And seal it up and put it in my freezer so I've got my bag of chicken and that's pretty heavy so later when it's frozen and I want to cook maybe just one piece of chicken I come in here and pull me out of a chicken breast and I just got one I just have to worry about thawing one out and cook it if I wanted more then I've got four in here say I had somebody coming for dinner and I wanted to cook chicken well, I could take out two chicken breasts, I could take out three, or I could take out all four of them. So, and there I got most of the air out of that. So, if you uh, come across a really good deal on chicken, this is the way to go with it. You know, if it's just one person, go ahead and buy that big package of chicken that's on sale. Break it down and put it in smaller packages, like I've just done, separated packages, so you can take out one, two, three, or four at a time, how many you need for that meal, depending on if you got company coming, you know. So that was my tip on storing chicken in your freezer. Y'all have a nice day. God bless.